Do you ever worry about having worms? There are parasites that live in your intestines. They can cause a lot of issues like abdominal pain, cramping, vomiting, diarrhea and bloating. If you suspect you have worms, you need to visit a doctor. There are also natural remedies to get rid of these worms. In today's video, we're going to talk about 5 natural remedies for intestinal parasites. Are papaya seeds effective? What about pumpkin seeds? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. Before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Number 1. Papaya Seeds. Do you remember those TikTokers eating papaya seeds to treat intestinal parasites? These videos were trending some time back. Well, papayas are both delicious and nutritious. Surprisingly, papaya seeds also offer a bunch of nutrients. I know many of us like the flesh of papaya more than the seeds, but the seeds play a very special role in killing parasites. Papaya seeds are rich in compounds like polyphenols and flavonoids. These two act as antioxidants, which fight free radicals and prevent chronic diseases. Papaya seeds are loaded with fiber, which not only improves digestive health, but also reduces blood pressure and cholesterol. Papaya seeds have the potential to fight infections. They can kill certain types of fungi and parasites. Research suggests that papaya seeds have anthelmintic properties, which is why they negatively affect intestinal parasites. In a study, school children were given a concoction made from dried papaya seeds and honey. It was found that papaya seeds were successful in killing intestinal parasites. You can eat papaya seeds just like that, or rinse with water and let them sun dry. You can use the dried papaya seeds in place of peppercorns. Maybe even make a powder from dried seeds, mix a half teaspoon in water and drink that. Just a quick note, pregnant women should avoid eating papaya seeds. Also, large amounts of papaya seed consumption should be avoided in general, as it can cause infertility and have toxic effects on healthy cells. Do you like eating papaya? Have you ever tried eating its seeds? Sound off in the comment section below and start a conversation with our health concern community. Number 2. Berberine. Strange name, right? Berberine is a compound found in several plants such as barberry, golden seal, Oregon grape and tree turmeric. It provides impressive health benefits. You'll be amazed to know that berberine was widely used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat different types of ailments including obesity and diabetes. Studies suggest that berberine may fight harmful microorganisms and intestinal parasites that cause digestive issues. It slows down the respiration in parasites and stops them from multiplying in your intestines. Also, berberine's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties are an added bonus. You can use berberine in the form of supplements, which are available online. It's always important to talk to your doctor before taking any kind of supplement. Much like our first entry, berberine should be avoided during pregnancy. Large doses can cause side effects like lowered blood pressure, flu-like symptoms and even cardiac damage. Feel like you're missing out? Make sure you join our viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all our great health concern content. Number 3. Wormwood. Wormwood is a herb with a very distinct aroma, as well as stunning health benefits. In ancient Egypt, wormwood was used to treat intestinal parasites. Pinworm, tapeworm and roundworm are the parasites that infect your intestines and cause digestive problems. Wormwood magically helps to fight these parasites. This is all thanks to the compound thujone, an active ingredient in wormwood. A study suggested that the extract of wormwood caused worm paralysis, and even worm death. Additionally, wormwood also helps to fight inflammation. It may even help to relieve Crohn's disease, which is characterized by inflammation of the lining in your digestive tract. If you suffer from gastrointestinal issues such as gas, bloating, stomachache and diarrhea, then wormwood can be helpful. 
It also boosts your appetite and improves saliva production, which enhances digestion and supports overall digestive health. Wormwood is usually used as a tea. You need dried leaves, not fresh ones. Add half a teaspoon of dried wormwood leaves in a cup of boiling water. Let it steep for about 10 minutes, and your wormwood tea is ready. This tea is bitter in flavor, so you can add honey for taste. Remember, large doses of wormwood are not recommended. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should not be having it. People with heart and kidney disease should also avoid wormwood. On top of that, people with seizure disorders like epilepsy should also stay away from it. Also, if you're allergic to marigold and ragweed, wormwood may also cause a reaction, as they all belong to the same plant family. I recommend you talk to a doctor before taking wormwood. This is just as a precaution. Number 4. Pumpkin Seeds Just like papaya seeds, pumpkin seeds are also very beneficial when it comes to treating parasites. Pumpkin seeds have traditionally been used as a natural remedy to remove parasites without damaging the gut microflora. They contain a bunch of nutrients including vitamin K, phosphorus, magnesium, iron, zinc and copper. Additionally, pumpkin seeds contain a substance called cucurbitacin, which plays the key role in the removal of parasites. The cucurbitacin is toxic in nature and causes paralysis in parasites, making them weak. Furthermore, the parasites are unable to stick to the walls of intestines, making it easy to flush them out of the body. Cucurbitacin does not cause any harm to humans. Pumpkin seeds are high in fiber, which also helps to clean the intestines from parasites. The vitamins and minerals present in pumpkin seeds strengthen your immune system and restore the intestinal microflora. A fiber-rich diet also helps reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes, obesity and heart disease. Pumpkin seeds are easy to add to your diet. You can eat them whole or sprinkle them on your salads and yogurt. If you want to treat parasites, you'll have to go a bit heavier. Pour some boiling water over the seeds, cover and let them steep for about 20 minutes. Drink 4 ounces of this water every 2 hours. It can be really helpful in treating parasites. Number 5. Changes in diet. If you're in the process of a parasite cleanse, it's extremely important to follow a balanced diet. Certain dietary changes help to regulate stomach acid production, which helps to fight foodborne parasites effectively. You need to add more fiber-rich foods to your diet, as they maintain your bowel movements while you're on your cleanse. When you're on a parasite cleanse, it's crucial to have a diet high in nutrients and low in refined and processed foods. So, this means pizza is out. Natural cleansing experts recommend avoiding alcohol and coffee. This is just for the time being. If possible, you can even go for a grain-free and sugar-free diet. You need to add more antiparasitic foods to your diet such as garlic, honey, papaya and pumpkin seed. Adding some beta-carotene foods such as carrots and tomatoes is a smart choice. Beta-carotene is connected to vitamin A, which has a negative effect on intestinal parasites. A diet high in nutrients is important for strengthening your immune system, as the parasites are flushed out of your body. You need to eat foods that are great sources of vitamin C, as well as B vitamins. Experts recommend eating more probiotic-rich foods like yogurt. Probiotics help to rebuild good bacteria in your gut, promote your overall gut health, and protect you from another parasite infestation. You need to be a little more careful with your food choices after the parasitic cleanse is finished. To prevent further parasite infection after an intestinal detox, avoid eating raw or undercooked meats. You also need to watch the kinds of fish you're eating. These might contain microorganisms and parasites that can reinfect your intestines before they are completely cleaned out. If you plan to travel just after an intestinal cleanse, you need to avoid a few things. Firstly, stay away from unbottled or unperified water. You need to avoid ice as well. While traveling, you should not eat fruits that you can't peel yourself. Don't eat foods prepared by vendors on the street either. You also have to avoid bathing and swimming in fresh water. I know, it can be difficult if you're on vacation, but taking these precautions can be very beneficial. 
Before going on a parasite cleanse, it's always smart to talk to a doctor or practitioner to find out which natural remedy works best for you. Healthy intestines are crucial for your survival. This way, you can digest food safely. Have you ever had worms? Did you know about these natural remedies beforehand? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one, bye for now.